jewel in the crown of the butterfly world. The pearl-bordered fritillary might not be flashy or flamboyant, but it is delicate and endangered. Remaining now in just four sites in Kent and Sussex, its only chance of future survival is if woodlands are managed. And in Abbotswood in Sussex, the Forestry Commission has been doing just that. In the recent years, we've been restoring our, our ancient woods uh, back to native trees. And here you see an, an open space that was created a few years back where we felled the conifer. Uh, and you'll see some uh, restock with native trees and also naturally regenerating trees as well. And this, this sort of conditions are ideal for pearl border fertility where you have um, sunny open space, you have a degree of shelter from the sun, um, but you also have open conditions for their, their nectar plants. The butterfly disappeared entirely from these woods in 1998 and this helped prompt the new approach. With the return of sunny sheltered spots came the butterfly too, although it had to be reintroduced by experts. Fifty that were captive bred were released. These two batches went in in 2004 and since then they've multiplied and multiplied. Up to about two years ago we had um, about 9,500 butterflies here and then last year 250 and now this year they've gone to other compartments around the wood and we've now surpassed 600 so it's been uh, fantastic really. Clearly the habitat is now just right and other wildlife will be benefiting too from the work that's been done. We're trying to use butterflies as indicators of all the wildlife that are using our woods. Um, if you get it right for them you're getting it right for all the wildlife that like these open spaces in this management cycle. This success story has been slowly and meticulously planned, but it does set an example of what can be done. Yvette Austin, BBC South East Today in Abbotswood.